Welcome back, everybody, for another campaign challenge. This time, no wonder I'm on the Barbarossa campaign, because I'm doing the Lombard League. Not building a wonder. No easy-peasy defense here. We have to go and frickin' kill everybody. <laughs> I feel like a lot of these challenges are just going to be, you go kill everybody. I mean, that's what the last one was. But, um, you know, it's a challenge, right? 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 Anyway, time to try and not die. You don't say. Oh, yeah. They actually managed to not lose anybody. I feel like that's so rare. Anyway, uh, we are going to be building up over here in the south because I actually remember that for my uh, my main normal campaign playthrough for this one, I went and uh, went over here because this going to the north is the easier one, I would say. Because you start right next to Padua, so you just have a, a short hop. Let's just get everyone on over. Oh, I do need a doc. So yeah, we're going to need to defeat um, Venice, Padua, and Verona, as well as Henry the Lion. Don't need these guys. Fischebe. That's what it sounds like to me. I believe the Teuton and Goth units in in-game speak Middle German, if I recall correctly. I don't know how uh, intelligible Middle German is to Modern German, having uh, speaking neither Middle nor Modern German. What? Wait a minute, didn't they already play that voice line? Isn't that what you have to play? That's what they do when you get over here, right? I don't know, you guys can check back in the video if you're so inclined. Oh, I am now housed again. As per... Wait, how am I at 52? I didn't get anything. I'm confused. What, what else is new? At least with this scenario, uh, you start an Imperial Age. So you don't have that much build-up to do. It's not like we're stuck in Feudal Age like the last one. Top limit's 125. Yes, yes. Anyway, we're going to have to go for, I think, a pretty varied comp because literally all of our opponents are different civs, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I mean, everyone's the same as they were back in, you know, AOK, -okay, except uh, Padua used to be Teutons. And now they are Italians, which makes sense, because, you know, Italian cities. But it means, you know, you're up against different armies. Vespa? Vespa? 
I think all the Teuton units drive a Vespa. And because it's me, we're gonna be walling. It's so much easier to lure boar when you have handcart, and your villagers move 20% faster. Feels good, man. Uh, I think we can clear these guys out from my initial base. Freaking huge ass shallows. I guess this would technically be more efficient. Wait, what? Ah, that's unfortunate. Oh, yeah, that villager. Duh. And here they come! Hmm. We're gonna want a castle, and we're gonna want to get crenellations. It's been forever since I've started down here. Oh, wait, I still have this too. Gold is still kind of limited over here. Also, I have no idea how hard this is going to be. I don't think I've ever done this before. Or if I have done it, it's long-ass time ago. Sure, take that for. Yeah, you know, get around 65, 66 fills. Seems good to me. Hmm. We're just gonna we're just gonna finish that wall over there. Anyway, um our first opponent's likely going to be Henry the Lion. Uh just because I'm pretty sure he's first. So that would be a Teuton mirror. And he makes mostly infantry. So I guess he'll start with hand cannons? Maybe I should just go paladins? Hmm. I guess paladins are kind of going to be like the catch-all unit, right? I guess I can just mix in other things if I need to. I realize now that I'm probably overboomed because of all these fishing ships, but whatever. Whatever, that's how we do things here. Oh well, yeah, these stone miners are already out. Hey, yeah. 
Uh, I don't know. Uh, take these sheep, I guess. Oh no! Rip that night, man. I just always feel so bad for any unit that just gets a Trebrock to the face. Gold, 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 I'm going to need more gold. We shall have to consider. Oh, that's just... Oh, yeah, Venice trains a bunch of halves and Genbos. Okay, we might need to go for stuff other than uh, Paladins. Or at least in addition to... I forgot I still have this light cav. There's some more stone, but we have plenty of that. Uh, Padua has this little camp over here. Why do I think they don't have ballistics? Everybody's Imperial Age. At least the Teutonic army is very pop efficient. Ooh, yeah, here's lots of gold. Lots and lots of gold. So I think we're going to clear out this area, get like a crenellation castle set up over here, and use that to launch our attacks across uh, whatever the river this is. Rip. Uh, also, at some point, we're probably going to need to utilize a bit of a navy to go take out uh, the v Venetian islands. They have like a castle and a Lombard Tower and stuffs. Get Paladin. Gotta love Teuton Cavalry, seven melee armor. Oh wait, there's gold here too. Bleh. Ooh, howls, yeah. And Genbos, yikes. Okay, here's the dealio. We're gonna start to mix in some siege units. Cause that's a lot of anti-cav. Also, let's get crenellations. Let's get crenellation, there we go. Because we really do need to expand for gold pretty soon. Uh, let's start with the castle over... Over... Here. There we go. So, Henry hasn't betrayed us yet. I think it's like 20 minutes after you build your first castle or something. Barbaros. Ah! I do hate to strike you when you are down. Speak of the devil, and he shall appear! Stop, son. 
So sorry. Henry, Henry just makes uh, swordsmen and Teutonic knights and rams, I believe. Let's get some rams of our own. Also, let's get Onager. Send some paladins over that way as well. I could go for Bombard Towers as well. But uh, we'll get there when we get there. We don't need them right now. Do need more gold, though. Wait, is that Verona? Yeah, that's Verona. Market, market, market it. Ton of wood. Bouvere. I actually lied. I speak perfectly fluent Middle German. I'm sure you can tell. Ooh, ooh. Um, yeah. Good thing we have heated shop. Uh, yeah, heated shot and crenellations, and let's just go ahead and get hoardings now. You know, I was worried this challenge would be too easy, but, uh, it's at least uh, doing all right for itself so far. I mean, you are 4v1. That's a lot of random ass units from Verona. Verona's probably gonna be the most annoying of all the enemies. Like, you might think they're the easiest because they don't have a castle, whereas everyone else has at least one. But at least with Venice, you can mostly just focus on water and be fine. And uh, you've you guys have already seen Padua if you've seen my uh, my main playthrough video thing. Oh yeah, let's pick some monitors in. That's why we uh, got the anti gen bow. Like I really don't need all this wood right now. I am losing villagers at a rather alarming rate. Do we have the treb at the other castle? Oh no. For some reason, I always get the treb sound and the onager sound mixed up. They very well may be the same, but to me, they both sound like trebs. Maybe I should go for Bombard Towers? Why not? Oh yeah, Verona also has like these double gates that are annoying. Guilds. I 
Uh, that ram isn't gonna get me very far in life. Need more vills! At least I might be denying Verona's gold income. Let's get a random bombard tower up. Yo, Henry, you don't get to mine gold here, but I don't have any units in standby to actually enforce that. Oh, wait a minute, that's enemy. No! Protect the tread! I suppose I, sh I should get some more forward buildings. There is more stone I can mine, but I'm going to focus on gold right now because I clearly need it. Get him, Onager! That was all the Onager. Anyway, Henry should be pretty ripperino. If Henry thought he could be Holy Roman Emperor, then he was just lying to himself. <laughs> hey, let's get some rams up in here. I didn't know the ships could... Oh, I guess the ships can just sail over here. Oh, there goes Henry. Perfect. We're 25% of the way there. <laughs> Poor villagers. Just keep getting their world rocked. Man, imagine if Teutons had Siege Ram. It'd be even more a slow, unstoppable force of death than they are now. I believe they did actually get Siege Ram in the, uh, the Carlos patch. Which was a short-lived patch. 
that like one or two tournaments were played on back before uh, Wallow Kingdoms was popularized. But they, they did some wacky stuff. Like I remember, like they raised the price of crossbowmen, like the, the upgrade, not the unit. Although I think they did make the unit like take longer to train or something. Anyway, I don't want to get through two layers of gate, so we're just going to go through the walls. Oh, there's these there's these trees in the way. Well, thankfully we have an onager. Trees no longer in the way. Let's bombard tower that. Some multiplayer habits never uh, never go away. Now this might work well for taking out uh, Verona and Henry the Lion. And maybe Padua as well, but we're going to need to do something different for uh, Venice. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need to do something for Venice. Oh god. I need to find the Cannon Galleon. Thank you, Crenellations. See you, Jonager? Nah, I shouldn't. I should get some dock upgrades, and I should probably put some more villagers back on wood. Because, yeah, we're going to need water of some kind to deal with Venice. Oh, these damn double gates. Not enough bombard towers. Not even close to enough button bombard towers. Get cannon galleon. Why put a bombard tower right here? I don't even know. I don't even care. Bombard Tower is the best unit in the game. Especially when garrisoned with four Guillermo something something. Hey there, Woodline. I really want to get Siege on Let's get Siege on I think Barbarossa is a lot of people's, uh, like, one of their favorite campaigns. I think a lot of people played it, like, I've, I've heard it, the people's first campaigns were Joan of Arc and then Barbarossa. Which kind of surprised me, because my first was Joan of Arc, well, I mean William Wallace, and then Joan of Arc, and then the Saladin. Because, you know, that's how they're ordered in, in AOC, is... William Wallace is one, Joan of Arc's two, Saladin's three, Angus Khan's four, and Barbarossa's five. So Barbarossa was actually the last one I did. Tuh. 
yeah, now this is getting pretty easy. It was tricky in the beginning, though. Get some cannon galleons and some more regular galleons. Non-cannon galleons. Uh, where did my trebuchet go? Did I lose it? Yeah, uh, nope. I'm noticing a distinct lack of bombard towers in this general vicinity. Got some siege onagers now, that's a good start, don't get me wrong. Still needs more bombard towers. Very anachronistic, by the way. This uh, this campaign takes place well before the uh, introduction of gunpowder to Europe. Alrighty. By the way, this is uh, one of my favorite scenarios in terms of like design from the original campaigns. Just because there's so many ways you can play it. Like, you have two different unique starting spots. In, uh, down here and up here. Okay, there goes Venice. Wait a minute, so I don't need, I don't even need this goddamn navy. Well, let's see what this navy can do against Padua, I guess. Wait, Verona's is still in the game. What are they doing? Why do you have this heavy scorpion, man? Oh wait. I didn't make siege onagers for onagering villagers. I made them to kill I made these siege onagers very specifically to kill the genbos. as much food anymore. Uh, the market, there we go. This game, I'm uh, demonstrating some incredibly good BBTPM, also known as uh, Bombard Towers Per Minute. Oh yeah, they got uh, arrow slits and everything. Oh, 
Yeah, that's good enough. Bomber towers are, are like okay against buildings. They have a very slow fire rate and they deal pierce damage. Not that it really makes that much of a difference, but they don't, uh, I think, get any bonus damage against buildings. It's just, you know, 120 damage against, like, 9 to 12 armor or something like that. Dash very clearly excited about something. Why is Verona still in the game? I've I've bombard towered their entire base. Is it this stable? Yeah, just killing villagers. Oh uh, yes, a mining camp in the middle of nowhere. That's exactly what they needed. Watch Verona be like the last one left. Oh no, they have to go all the way around. I wish Captrams were faster, man. I wish the upgrade for Captram was more expensive, like, I don't know, 500 food or something. Uh, but it gave the Rams 0 0.05 more movement speed. Because right now, uh, Batarang Rams and Captrams have the same movement speed at 0.5, uh, uh, the slowest unit in the game, I believe. And... Uh... Seed rams, meanwhile, have 0. 0.6. So they get plus one, plus 0. 0.1 rather, movement speed. And I feel like capped rams should have 0. 0.55 movement speed, you know, split the difference. But the tech should also cost more. Because it's only 300 food, and that's obviously really cheap. Uh, well, spies is only 200, so they can't have a lot left. Yeah, 200 means they have zero villagers. I guess... Wait, Venice and Henry the Lion resign like normal AI, but Verona and Padua, you have to destroy literally everything? What? That's just weird. Oh, there goes Verona. Was that one stable? And now yeah, that market was uh, Padua. So yeah, guys, that was uh, that was the Lombard League. Except instead of building a wonder, you just kill everybody. Definitely not as hard as the last challenge, but I still think a, a pretty fun one. I don't remember there gold being gold over here. I remember there being stone over here. Yeah, there's stone over here. There's also a bombard tower from Venice. You know when they're not dead. But yeah, still, again, if I had to rank the difficulty in terms of building a wonder, I would say Padua is the easiest because you just land over here and then it's a very short distance. Um, followed by Venice, similar uh, premise, you land over here and then you just go cannon galleons and stuff like that and you just shell out enough space for a wonder. And Verona is the hardest because you have to push the furthest uh, in and they probably make the biggest army of like you know, eventually paladins and hand cannons and monks and scorps and stuff. Henry the Lion. Yeah, get out of here, Henry the Lion. Pretty nice KD. Pretty nice. <laughs> and whoosh. Just like Dash said. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was my Lombard League challenge, and I will see you guys in the next one.